Welcome to Super Entrepreneurs Podcast. Today we have with us Carla White. How are you? How are you, Carla? I'm happy to be here. This is super cool. We've we've been trying to do this for a while, so it's good to finally connect. I know. <laughs> I know. You know, honestly, it uh, and now that we meet, everything is good, right? So, and I'm grateful yeah. to you to being patient and actually, you know. Allowing this, allowing me the opportunity to interview you and your patience and everything, I'm, I'm thankful for all that. Oh, of course, and you know, I think it went both ways. I think we both had conflicts at one point, it's okay. so we're both it's patient. Okay. Well, that's business, and it all happens yeah. when it's supposed to, right? <laughs> yes, 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 Carla. So. I would love for you to kind of take the stage and introduce yourself and share with the audience what you do. Yeah, so I am the CEO and founder of Hero FM, which is an audio distribution platform, private audio distribution platform specifically made for entrepreneurs. Um, but prior to that, that I launched that in uh, 2020. Prior to that, I'm the first woman to launch an iPhone app. Um, I've sat on Oprah's couch. I've worked for NASA, Pentagon, wow. Olympics, wow. Um, Microsoft, lived in Europe for quite some time. Um, and uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just did a, about <laughs> did, did, a, did a few things in my life. And I'm the proud mom of that a new puppy incredible. who wants my attention right now. And two little can we, boys. Can we see, can yeah, we see the puppy? Yeah, let me grab you. Yeah. Here he is. Oh wow! <laughs> so so <yeah>. cute, but <laughs> anxious. Well, he gets jealous every time I'm talking to somebody else. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Uh, th that's that early. <laughs> Mama's boy. <laughs> Mama's boy. That's amazing. So, tell me the story about Oprah's couch that got my attention. Ah, yeah. So uh, I, I'm the first woman to launch an iPhone app, and that app is Gratitude Journal. So uh, it's a gratitude oh. journal. It's still on the App Store. Uh, been on there for well over a decade. Uh, but when I launched the app, obviously, Oprah is a big fan of gratitude. And so it caught her attention. So am it I. Caught, caught a lot of attention. Yeah, it's super powerful. I mean, it, people think gratitude mm. is something... I don't know that you do with chamomile tea and you know a feather pen, but really, it's a super ninja tactic. It is yes something that will bring the world to, into the palm of your hand, and yes, um, yes, it's it's powerful. So so anyway, yeah. Oprah uh, had me on. I've been on a number of talk shows actually, which is always such an interesting process to to sit on those sofas and get called on and you know, do my little spiel and, um, in, in little like 30 seconds. I have no sofa bites. for you, but we're all, <laughs> we're all virtual here. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll sit on my own sofa here. <laughs> yeah. I got my own sofa. I don't need your sofa. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. okay, go ahead. Uh, so, so that was so, quite some time yeah. ago, but it did, it did, uh, create, well, that and, uh, quite a few other, major publications uh, featured me in my app. And so it just skyrocketed. It went viral. And wow. um, there were no books or guides on how to create apps. So I created a little yeah. ebook on how to create mobile, uh, cell phone, iPhone apps. And uh, that went viral yeah. as well. And so that just sort of shifted me into the entrepreneurial world uh, in making money online. Yeah, that's incredible. And, and you, you mentioned gr uh, gratitude. I find mm. that it's such a deep rooted feeling. Like, I don't feel like, you know, you have to say, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. I'm gra I think it's more like, like, it's, it's, within like you it seeps out of your 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 soul you know like you're it's something that you feel all the time when you get to that that 
conscious level, right? So once you're there, that gratefulness becomes habitual and you just flow with it. You feel like you're just on cloud nine, like you're just whizzing through life, flowing through life um, on a cloud when you're in that state. Would you agree? Well, it's our natural state, right? We're, we're naturally yeah. joyful as children. Like you, I walk my kids up to yeah. their school every day and the playground's filled with kids having an absolute blast while the parents blast. are sitting there sipping their coffee trying to, you know, shift their mindset. And but yeah. we're naturally in that state. And then we're, <laughs> we're sort of weaned out of it as we go through life. Yeah. So gratitude is just taking yeah. you back to your natural state. Yeah. Yes. And we're, we're acting pretty childish, I think. It's good. <laughs> it's good to be childish. <laughs> That's good. where the creativity yes. is. That's where it's at. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. I, I, I avoid uh, being serious uh, as much as possible. Yeah. Um, you know, you just can't really be serious when you're in that state. So I'm really uh, I'm, I'm happy that it came up in this conversation with Oprah. Um, but let's get to Hero. How did you come up with this name? Uh, is there a oh. meaning behind it? Uh, so it's H-I-R-O. Um, you yeah. know, I don't, it, it was really just a play on the word hearing and I needed something quick. It was my my COVID project, uh, my pandemic project. So uh, yeah. I had probably about two brain cells at the time with the kids at home and everything else going on. Uh, so I'm like, okay, let's just use that uh, uh, URL. And it's sort of stuck. It's small, it's short, you know, easy to remember, Um, quick and snappy. Yeah. But um, Hero came about because the people who got in my, who uh, got my gratitude, so my gratitude journal became my lead magnet. It's, it's how I built my list. Nice. Uh, people who got yeah. my my gratitude journal would get on my email list and I would send them out what's called a soap opera email. So basically it's an, uh, it was an 11, 12 email series that I drip out day one day at a time explaining why I created the app and, you know, CTAs at the end of it, things like that. Um, and uh, the people who got my app and went through that soap opera series, one of the things I invited them into was a challenge to help them with other mindset habits or healthy habits and uh, gratitude being one of them. Um, and it was a 21 day mindset reset challenge. And then once I got through mm-hmm. that challenge, hey, how about you work with me some more? Right. So that's the whole funnel. If you're familiar with, you know, lead magnets and to hire yep. tickets. So that was mine. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Um, but the problem was nobody was getting through the challenge. It was, you know, people are busy and they'd fall off and yes. the completion rates were low. So one day a lady joins the challenge and she's like, I know I'm not going to watch any of the videos. I'm not going to show up for any of the Zoom calls. Just give me everything in audio. And I'm like, whatever, honey. I'll do whatever it takes. And so I pulled yeah. all the audio, put them on a Google Drive, and then she came live in our Facebook group about, I don't know, a week later. And she's like, I just binge listen to everything, and I feel like we need to be grateful, and we deserve to be wealthy. And it just shifted everything in my mind, and I'm punching the hearts, and I'm like, this is so awesome. And then all of a sudden, she starts crying, and she goes, my son confided in me that he was planning to commit suicide, and he would have never had done oh. that had I not had the shift in everything. And I was like, oh, my gosh, yeah. could you imagine the totally yeah. different outcome she would have faced? Like, she followed her call. Yeah. Like, she followed her intuition to yes, join it. the challenge, to get it That's in, on, it. like, whatever. And so she was able to be there mm-hmm. for her son. But wow. the long and short of it is as well, I got to make this audio. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it audio. And there wasn't a software out there, but I didn't care. I sort of duct taped it together because what turned out to happen was once I made it audio, the completion rates went up big time. And when the completion rates went up, the repeat buyers went up and the word of mouth, the marketing went up, which is the best marketing you can get. And it just completely changed everything. But yet, Every month when we did the challenge, I'd spent at least a week setting up the audios because there wasn't a software out there. So when the pandemic hit and um, we were all home, I thought, well, I'm going to make, I've made software for years, so I'm just going to make this. 
and <laughs> it kind of exploded. It went, it, it uh, cause I created it. Then I went out to my friends and I'm like, could you use this? Is this something you could use? And, uh, one woman, she took all her Q and A's and, uh, turned it into a private podcast that she turned around and sold to her clients and said, Hey, do you guys want everything in audio format? And they're like, yeah. So she made a few grand in a couple of days doing that. And, um, another friend of mine, was dealing with refund request. Her target audience is moms. And of course, moms are like the busiest people on the planet. So she was getting a lot of refund requests because she had quite an in-depth program, a lot of videos to watch. And she took everything, put it into Hero. And when there was a refund request, she's like, hey, can I give it to you in audio format instead? And they're like, yeah. So her refund request dropped so much. She was trying to hit a million in her business. She hit the million. That was two years ago. So Hero launched in 2020. Now she's on target for over, she's made over 10 million in her business since then. And it's just taken off. So there's a lot of different ways that people can use Hero. One of the favorite ways I like to do it is when you um, have a premium program, and usually what you do is maybe you launch a webinar or a challenge or something like that. What I like to do is just condense it down into what I call an interactive audio book. Because we all know what's coming after a, a webinar or a, uh, a workshop or a challenge. We all know there's a pitch at the end. But yeah. with an audio book, it's new, it's different. And you can get people without, with their guard down a little bit. Also, there's a lot yeah. of power in your voice. Uh, research has mm. proven that your intuition and your trust instincts don't come from looking at somebody. They come from hearing somebody. It's from their voice. Mm. That's how you determine whether vibration. you trust somebody. Yeah. Mm. Um, audio listeners on average, have a average household income of $250,000. So these are people with money. And usually when people mm. are listening to audio, they're looking for problem-specific answers. So it's like this mm. really wonderful, rich opportunity to reach your <clears throat> audience, get an immersive experience, like a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them to share your system, your solution, your story, and then invite them to partner together, work together, and uh, uh, or buy your buy your solution, and it's really a powerful system that is a blue ocean right now. Yeah, Carla, you know, you you mentioned something really important about the voice because I feel mm -hmm. that the success we had at Super Entrepreneurs Podcast is because of the voice. Like I get that from people. Um, and I feel that not, I'm not like trying to toot my horn or anything. I'm just saying because of the feedback, they enjoy my voice. So there is some power behind, um, the tone or something about the voice that yeah. it connects directly to, to their heart. Right. So when they, when mm -hmm. you hear something in the ears, right in that, you know what? It just goes direct there. I, I, something, there's something behind it, right? Yeah. And also, I think, you know, I, I don't know if you ever got into that clubhouse way. Oh, that yeah. I'm, I'm there. I'm there. I'm still, I'm still going there nowadays. I oh, just, are you a big I, clubhouse I stop, user? I, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not actually. I've, I've, I've been away because um, I just, I just, I got I got I got really relaxed uh, a few months. I took it easy. Um, mm -hmm. I just I, I found a very special place, and I just wanted to spend some time there internally. Yeah. So I just stayed away from a lot of things, but uh, not from the show, but you know other things like clubhouse yeah. but it was a boom at one time so i don't know yes. if it dropped or not i'm not sure of that but it's been like since uh friday last week i started going again uh every day oh. but uh i i do kind of notice um a difference so uh can you tell me more about is there is there a difference from before until now well you know i dro i dropped off as well i yeah. when 
the world opened up again, which was what a lot of people yeah. predicted. It's when the world yeah. would open up again, people would drop off a yeah. clubhouse. And that did happen. Yeah. I feel like clubhouse lost a lot of opportunity because um, mm. there's a, <laughs> I'm going to get geeky a little bit. So there's a lot yeah, of uh, AI solutions out there that you could do with the voice. So let's say, I mean, in there, plus people were divulging so much information. So like yeah, people are talking and they're like, a lot of, bullying happening and a lot of oh, other things there? happening right yeah like, see yeah, i wasn't so. in those rooms with the bullying but uh yeah. i, I well, was I'd in a leave. lot of rooms where there was right away. yeah 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 it's not my jam uh but there was Any so, negativity, a lot of rooms i would just leave <laughs> Yeah, 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 you don't need it, right? Yeah. Um, no, but there were rooms no, where people no. were like, oh, I own a super yacht, or I own, you know, super cars, yeah. or I ha make so much money, <laughs> a $2 right? $2 million dollar watch. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and if they had mm. some AI built in, they could have really targeted ads to those individuals that were voice ads. I was and, curious about that. Yeah, yeah, but they said they would never make it an ad platform, and I feel like they missed out oh. on a huge opportunity by not introducing yeah. any sort of ad sponsorship, anything like that. So, mm. here are uh, I, I feel like it missed out, but it did hit that big wave simply because why we could all sit around looking like crap and connect with other people. Yep. <laughs> And that was a beauty because I think we got lackadaisical about, well, you know, yeah. who, who wants to get all dolled up just to have a conversation, right? Yeah. It's just so much easier yeah. to be in your Jimmy jammies and yeah. chitty chat chat. Yeah. And so um, we just, yeah, yeah. We just enjoyed it for that matter. And that's why audio is so good. Like it, with these audio books, you can slap them together in a weekend. You don't have to get all, you don't need a ton of editing. You can use your phone and the mic on your phone and just record mm. all your episodes. And uh, um, and then, like, I do what I call is uh, podcast hijacking, where you just get on shows, like, once a week and promote uh -huh. your solution. Like, have something that's really a um, solution. Like, you, you solve a problem right now and solve it for those listeners on that show. Not one of these things where if you get my my program, I'll solve your pro problem, but I'll solve something you have right now. Because with audio or with any like podcast or audio book, they are solution oriented, meaning that you want to be an advisor not a salesperson. You want to become across as an advisor. You want to, people to perceive you as an advisor. Why? <clears throat> because that's ultimately what you're going to be doing for them down the road. And so you're going to prove it in the show, in the audio book or private podcast or on somebody else's podcast. You're going to prove it first so that you gain that trust, that know, like, and trust and uh, they will want to book a call and work with you down the road. So can you explain that part to me? Uh, I just want to clarify. So you're mm -hmm. saying when you go on someone's show, like you're appearing on this show, yeah. you will uh, give away an audio book from Hero.fm uh, yeah. that solves a problem for our audience. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad you asked me that. Uh -huh. So... When I appear on a show like this, uh, normally mm -hmm. I would say like, this is a problem I want to help your audience solve. That's, this is my uh, podcast hijacking method. I'm not using the podcast hijacking method with this show because it's a little oh. bit more informal how we met, right? So why? Uh, why? I want to use it. Use it. I, know, no, I, I didn't become prepared. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing out. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'll, I'll give you the formula. So this is my example of giving a solution right now. So you need audience. You okay. need ears. You need people to know who that you yeah. exist. And um, mm -hmm. audio is awesome because you know the people listening are. Uh, a little bit higher educated, more results. They're going to take action. They, they're mm -hmm. looking for solutions. There's so many things about audio. Mm -hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. so, so you get on a show and you provide your solution to one problem. My solution to a problem that I'm going to give the listeners here is this 
podcast hijacking method. All right. I'm going to give you this. I'm not going to make you buy something from me. I'm not going to, I'm just going to outline it a hundred percent every single step of the way. A gift, right? This is my gift for you. And then uh, if you want the full formula, the whole, like how to use audio, I'll share how to get that at the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you can model this in your own business. Okay. Let's hear it. All right. So the podcast hijacking method is the one, one, one. First off, you have one problem for one audience and one solution. That's it. You don't have to go into 20 years of history. You don't have to go into 500 different options. Just Just one problem, one audience, Mm -hmm. one solution. Okay. And that's what you share with podcast hosts. Okay. You share that with, Mm -hmm. this is what I want to give to your audience is this one problem that's for this one audience. And this is the solution. And uh, you can share some accolades. You can share, you know, other shows you've been on all sorts of things so that they understand that you can speak on a show. You're not going to be messing Mm -hmm. about or mumbling or boring or anything like that. So you, do you give this before going and appearing on the show or do you give this while speaking This is what I would give to the host. Yeah. So, beforehand, um, I got it. You will send them an email. Yes. I, this is my pitch. Yes. Got this it. is my pitch. Got it. Okay. So got it. Uh, got yesterday it. I was on a show. And <laughs> I don't know how conservative your show is, but she said my pitch made her nipples hard. <laughs> so, oh my God. <laughs> it was sort of, what the it was a racy <laughs> show. It was a racy show. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. But she's like, I screenshot your pitch. I love it so much. It was so, so good. This was the best pitch yeah. ever. And that's basically okay. what I did. I was like, but I okay. toned it to her audience. Like I made a racy pitch. That was because she has okay. a racy show. So I took pretty much okay. a, this is a solution I'm going to give you, but it was all kind of racy and her verbiage. So make sure you use okay. their verbiage. Make sure you speak their language because you want it to yeah. sound good. Okay. So now you're on the show. You do your one, one, one. You share the thing. Yeah. Um, and then with Hero, what you can do is just a keyword to a phone number and that will give them access to your audio show. So you have them text the word, for example, H-I-R-O. That's built in? Built into the software Th- to that's a built in. phone okay. number. Mm-hmm. So you text yeah. H-I-R-O mm-hmm. to a yes, certain phone yes. number, to Pretty your dedicated good. number. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, and then that listener will automatically get their own access link. So that we'll, we'll text them back. To that audio. Thank you. To that show. Yep. And so, and then the show to that one, one, one to that, to the, to the no, problem, to, to well, the, no. so I, 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 I explain a small problem on the show, yeah. but if they want to go deeper, if they want the full ah, solution, I understand. Yes. Yes. I For the full book. solution tax one, one, one or whatever it is. Yeah. Yes. Text this n- word or this number yeah. or whatever to this phone mm-hmm. number. And mm-hmm. I'm going to give you my mm-hmm. interactive audio book for free. Okay. Mm -hmm. Normally it's $15, $17, but because you're on this show and because you're a friend of, you know, entrepreneurs podcast or whatever, then I, I'm going to give you this for free. This is my gift to your audience. And so now they, they text and they get access to your show. And the beauty with hero is uh, you can set it up. So You can collect their email and their name as well if you want to get those details. So uh, you can personalize it more. And then when they uh, when they start listening, or if they don't listen, or they get to a certain part of your show, you can set up a trigger. So you can set up a trigger or an event to occur at certain points of the show. And this is where it gets kind of clever because you can use a lot of different um, sort of psychological selling in this. So, so is this I, you're you're sorry you're referring to the to within the audio when they actually receive that file when they're listening to it within that there's there's uh, triggers. trip wires or something yeah yes. triggers okay. so so they start they well they get the show and they don't listen. I trigger something if they don't yeah. listen. Hey, 
Oh. And it's so, so simple. Hey, everything okay? That's it. And people will reply to it. They'll be like, yeah, I'm so glad you asked. My dog got run over or I, you know. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. I get so many replies with just, hey, are you okay? That's it. And do you think they're going to start hitting play once I just share a little bit of interest in them? Yes, they are. They're going that. So the completion rates on these shows are around 80% when we do this. So 80% listen to the whole show. Okay, now the show format or the interactive audiobook is a certain way as well. Like there's a formula to what you say in the interactive audiobook. And there's also and like you help certain- with that in, in Hero? Yeah, well, I have a course. Uh, I, I okay. call it AMP. So we automate and then we market. And then we profit. So there's three steps. Okay. First is setting up the automations and then getting your listeners, getting on shows, podcast hijacking. I have all these different methods. It's the whole thing. And then profit is, part of Hero is what FM. you say. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, the profiting Sounds model genius so is, far. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. It's like such a green blue ocean and, um, and so easy to set up because <laughs> – I'm a mom, like I, I got two kids, a busy, like super crazy lifestyle, soccer every night, and we, stuff going on every weekend. And Carla, and Carla, I feel so special because you're not hijacking here. You're actually sharing everything. So I feel really good about the audience, what they're yeah. getting here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is stuff that like you do not need to use Hero, right? You don't. I hope you do, yeah. but uh, yeah. there's other But you're platforms. giving all the sauce here. Yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah, because, you know, there's always more little layers to things. And if you want to do it faster, you can always contact the person, contact me and I'll help you out. But, um, you know, we can trigger these messages. Here's another uh, really powerful message that we do. So one is everything okay. That gets more completion rates. But, you know, ultimately we want them to book a call or buy a product. and. so, so we start with the, the law of reciprocation. We give them a gift, okay? So they get to a certain part in the audio book and we trigger an email that says, or an, our text that says, hey, I just made this for Shahid. He asked, reached out. He wanted this broken down. Um, do you mind if I give it to you as well? It's a little document that'll help you with this and that and the other, right? It's just something I made on the fly that here you go. And uh, a little gift. And... Um, or like, Hey, you got to this far in the audio. I want to give you a, because you're investing in yourself and I really enjoy people who invest Mm -hmm. in themselves and are taking action. So, um, you're Mm -hmm. my kind of people. So here you go. So you give, give them a gift and, um, law of reciprocity is they'll want to return the favor, but then the pitch at the end, because it's like, you don't want to get to the end and kind of feel like, okay, this is a total bait and switch, right? I I bribed you with this interactive audio book where I was going to help you with this problem, but now I'm saying, hey, you got to call me or you got to buy my thing mm-hmm. to really solve yeah. it, which is not not fair. And I do not like that. That's a, just like yeah. why so much marketing has bad name and bad reputation. Trickery. And it will ruin your reputation if you do it that way. Mm. Um so what I like to recommend is from the get-go, at the very start, you let them know that you have an opportunity for them. And you might give them an example of what that opportunity looks like, like an example of a successful client. And mm-hmm. share that at the beginning. And then at the end, you transition into that. You transition from teaching into, okay, here's the opportunity. And Here's how you know if it's a good fit. And these are the typical clients that we get really good results with. And you start to share some success stories. So if you have testimonials, these are the, these are the ones. Yeah. And uh, if you're not a good fit now, here's three things, five things you can do right now so that you can be a good fit very soon. So you give them something they can do. It's not, yes, you're a good fit. No, it's yes or not yet. And then the other thing I like to do is share what they can expect. 
on the call. This is what's going to happen on the call. It's not going to be a pressure. Mm. I, if you don't want to work with me, mm. I really don't. Like it's, it's going to be a win-win. Yeah. So it's would it help problem. if you yeah. had another set of eyes on your problem? Would it help with this? Would it help with that? And yeah. you set it up. So they, they feel like getting that call is a bonus to the book, not like you're yeah. selling something. Yeah, I, I try to be present all the time in my interviews, but you're you're making me you're making me my mind to go and start creating. So I, yeah. I'm continue, I'm tr- I, I and I never have this difficulty. I'm always present. I'm just sharing honestly that I'm I'm with you. I'm listening, but my mind keeps going, and I'm creating something already. So it's pretty yes. incredible what you're sharing here. That's awesome. That's that's good feedback. I like that because it should yeah, yeah. spark creativity, spark yes, ideas, for like sure. ideas on how you can use this. Yeah. Hmm. No, it's good. Yeah, I like it. So from there, you may in a series of questions that you set up in your dashboard, uh, where you guide and you have uh, uh, ideas and references that you share. From that, you create that um, easy flow. Where there's mm-hmm. no pressure, it's more. Uh, there's no trickery. There's more. It's more organic, more honest, yes. heart to heart. And if they if they feel you know comfortable, they'll get on a call with you, right? And 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 you can automate an email as well. So for mm-hmm. example, they get a text message saying, "Hey, you know, I, I know you went through everything at this time. No pressure, but you know." If you would like, I could come and I could meet with you and we can go over some of these things. If you say yes, I can send you my Calendly link. Something exactly. like that? Yes. Yeah. Ah. So, um, uh, you're I mean, you clever. Can- you're clever, Carla. <laughs> this is pretty. Yeah. I, I, I like to have my free time, is what I like. I don't yeah. like to have to, you know, because I used to do huh. the the challenges and I, I do still do yeah. webinars. I find them so much work, you know, but all of yeah. those getting on video, it's so much work. And, we're yes, busy. I've like done we're them. Yeah, yeah, we're so busy and we got to just get on with things and not only that your audience is busy. Think about there's so many people that you can now reach because they won't get on a webinar. They won't like they just Yeah. Think of CEOs are not going to sit Yeah. It's like popping an earbud, have it, go work out and you know, oh, that's doing another their dishes, right? Yes, and yeah, that's a good thing out. is um <laughs> yes, working out endorphins happiness chemicals are peaked when they're peaked they remember more and uh, also they're going to have this happier feeling that they're going to associate to you because you're speaking to them at that point and yeah it's next level psychology and it's off the charts and you you don't even like all that you're sharing like honestly you can you just sense all that information, that the entire design of this, right? So even in the audience, all the entrepreneurs, if you're listening, um, you know, Carla explained high level, pretty deep as well. She kind of mm-hmm. gave the whole flow of things, how to do it. She has a platform that makes it easy, tick, 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 and you got it set up. You know, if you want to do like a, some ideas are if you have a five day, um, you know, for example, Kelly Roach, I don't know if anybody knows, yes. you probably know I Carla, love her. Kelly, Kelly yeah. Roach five. Yeah. So five day, uh, live event, live launch, something similar. You do this mm-hmm. in the audio on the hero, same way yeah. you get them to, to, to the same steps, but it's more, uh, heart to heart, you know, and it's more yeah. intimate and you'll get more calls booked. You will. And uh, you can use it. I'm glad you brought that up because you can. I originally designed it for challenges. So the episodes would drip out. You finish this episode, you get that episode. Or day two, let's give them this episode. And you can expire it. So they there's that urgency. Like this whole show is going to be gone in a week. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is. Sorry mm-hmm. to interrupt, Carla. You just got me excited. But when, for example, I could be at an event in public, whatever, and, you know, I could be talking for my, for, for example, for me, I could be saying, hey, you know, uh, what goal are you working on? Right. So they'll say, um, 
you know, I don't have a goal, whatever it is, right? The majority of people don't have a goal or they might have a goal. I want to be rich, right? It's pretty broad. Mm -hmm. So broad. in that situation, you're, yeah. So in that situation, you're saying, well, you know, that's where I help people and I make more, give you more clarity. But hey, you know, why don't you text me this number? I'll send you a free training, like just on me, just to help you out. And just say, sure, you know, what is it? So they'll just take the phone out, boom, 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 send it. Yeah. Okay, it'll come through you and I'll send you text messages just to, you know, check, check in, in on, on you and yeah. how it's going. Yeah. And then boom, they start seeing you leave. Now you are changing someone's life within that yes. couple of minutes, like in the background. Yes. Yeah. And it's just like, it took you a couple of hours to set up at best on hero. Yeah. And, um, but you brought up something really good, a ninja thing that one of my yeah. clients is doing that I'm like, that is genius. I love it. So what he does oh. is, um, he speaks from stage and he tells people, I'm going to show a lot of slides. I'm going to, you know, be sharing a lot of really good stuff, but put your pens and notebooks away. I want you to be present. I want you seeing me. I want you watching. I want you paying yes. attention, not writing down. Mm -hmm. And what I'll do is I'll give you a phone number at the end. You text a word to that phone number. I'll give you a recording of this whole presentation and all the slides. Amazing. And I'm like, that is so good. That's that is amazing. so, so good. So because now we got everybody's phone number in the audience. Yeah. And a lot of time these events, the host will charge the speakers to get those phone numbers and those contact details. It'll oh, be yeah. like, I'll let you speak on stage. It's this price. And if you want the details that all the attendees, that's an additional like one thousand dollars, and I'm oh, like, man. you just sucked the system. <laughs> so, so now that we're friends, Carla, because I definitely <laughs> want to be friends here, because I always like to hang out with genius people. So, if I'm gonna message you, you're gonna help me out. If I have some ideas, I shoot towards you. Oh yeah, you're gonna kind of oh. give me some pointers. All right. Good. I think you can tell I yeah. love talking about this all day long. I mean, it, there's so many like it's amazing. So yeah, many case so, studies so and new studies that I I could go through. I mean, mm. we only hit a couple, right? No, there's no. so many cool this ones. Is, mm -hmm. This is incredible. So, what one thing we usually ask on this show is what your innermost superpower is that got you to this point. Mm. I wanted to say trusting my intuition, but that sounds like a little vague. So I think what it is, is uh, not listening to fear. That was the biggest one, not listening oh, to fear. So mm. Listening to faith. Yes. Yeah, listening to faith. Listening to I, faith. I, I probably didn't think I was, yeah. but I just, uh, yeah. I drove coast to coast uh, in the U.S. in an old Chevy back in the day when there were no cell phones or you know, electronic maps or anything. And uh, I had this no fear sticker on my car. And that was sort of my mantra is just no fear. Just do it. No fear. It's a great one. It's a great one. I spent yeah. my whole life in fear and it was horrible. I never want to go back. Um, <laughs> no. uh, yeah. So faith is much more fun and much more uh, beneficial. So <laughs> I'd rather stick with faith. Um, yeah. Carla, thank you so much for giving me your time and the audience oh, and what you're creating. And I know there's something else cooking. We didn't have enough time to go into it. Maybe you'll come back again when that's something else that you're working on right now, when you're yeah. about to launch that. You give me a call, email me. We'll bring you back on here if you want to talk about it on Instagram or you want to do a live on any of the social platforms. I'm there for you. I want this message out to as many people as possible because if it can change an entrepreneur's life, it can put more food on the table. I'm there with you. And that's what you have here. You yeah. have a solution for people to um, bring more awareness leads business change lives you know like it's an ecosystem what you have here like it's it's not just hey i'll get you leads right like it's a, it's a whole a dynamic uh, a, a frame a dynamic frame of changing your life the person who gets involved in this as an entrepreneur and also on the people on the other end Mm -hmm. So that's, I, yeah, I'm glad you brought I'm, that I'm, up because there's a lot of people who are listening who have a specific skill set or an answer yeah, to somebody else's yes. problem. And that's really what this is all <sighs> oh, about man. is being able to connect those yeah. people who need those answers quickly. This is amazing. So for me, affiliate will be 50%, right? 
Absolutely. Just Nothing less. <laughs> Nothing less. No, I love this. Honestly, I want to help you like wherever I can. I was just Thank joking you. about that, but this is great. I'm going to check out Hero actually Saturday. Okay. As when I look at new tools, so I'm gonna I'm gonna spend time on this. I'm gonna follow your uh, social media if you don't mind emailing me your all your links. I'm Go gonna on. follow you right right away, and then on Saturday you might see a DM if I have a question. But other than that, I'm gonna play around with it and um, and see where I can take this because I have some uh, uh, some uh, uh, incredible ideas that are rolling in my head uh, while I was trying to uh, remain present. And, and you took yeah. that from me because of this genius idea. So, uh, again, thank you so much for coming oh, on the show. Absolutely. My pleasure, Shahid. Yeah. And audience, love you guys. Continue to support. Continue to engage with the content. Send me messages. Tell me what you think about Carla and, and the, what she's created. You know, she sat with Oprah. She's been doing so much. And you can see. And you're, you guys are with me here because you can tell Carla's working on something else. She did not share, but there's something about a branch on Hero or something. Mm -hmm. Something bigger is coming. So be around her, you know, and get in touch with her. All her information will be in the show notes. And I love you guys and thank you. And Carla, I appreciate you. Let's continue to be friends. Oh, absolutely. I wish you the best. All right. Thank you. Thank you.